may have already noticed the uh, price of a uh, brew crabs kind of sneaking up and up. New survey suggests why and uh, possibly some continued issues with the blue crab stock expected throughout the summer. Uh, let's go to the Hill. WMER 2 News. Abby Isaacs reports from LP Steamers on Federal Hill tonight about how they're adapting to keep up the supply. With no shortage of customers, but a shortage of blue crabs, they have to stop carry out in order to have enough stock for the restaurant. And the manager is worried about the end of the summer. You think Maryland summer crabs, beer? Got some crabs, guys. And I mean, I'm just praying that we find crabs somewhere. On a rainy day, LP Steamers in Federal Hill is busy serving up Maryland's delicacy. We still have crabs, like luckily, knock on wood, we have not run out. But manager Kim Gardner says a shortage of blue crabs and price increases has kept them on their toes. People are getting upset because we don't have enough in stock for carry out. I've been here about almost 20 years and this is like the most I've seen like shortages and in, in price increases. And it might get worse. According to the Maryland Department of Natural Resources annual survey of Chesapeake Bay blue crabs. This year's survey was really a, a bit of a mixed bag. Results showed the adult male crab population is half the average. So that is probably uh, putting some stress on the overall prices and things like that and driving them up. Most but, uh, concerning most for Chesapeake Bay Foundation crabs, senior scientist crab. Chris Moore, it estimates the population of juvenile crabs has fallen to its lowest level in more than 30 years. They don't actually become large enough to start harvesting until mid to late summer and, and early fall. And so that's when you'll probably see this lack of juveniles start to show up a little bit more in the population. But the review also found positive trends, including a rise in the Bay's population of spawning age mature female crabs. The department says the specific cause of this year's low abundance of juvenile crabs can't be identified, but it's largely driven by environmental factors. Bear with us and understand that there's nothing we can do. It's mother nature and, you know, hopefully the report is, is not as bad as, as they say it's going to be. Chesapeake Bay and industry committees are now working on guidance for the rest of the year that promotes the health of the blue crab population. In Federal Hill, Abby Isaacs, WMAR 2 News.